Well, good morning. I believe it's day 153. And behind me is the uh, map for the uh, Beaver Brook Trailhead. We are headed up to, uh, oh, fully, Musilaki, Mount Musilaki today. So it's going to be a big up and a big down. It's only 8.2 miles, but uh, I think that's enough. So we'll check with you when we get out on the trail. Well, we're just starting out and already we've got a couple of string crossings. This one's particularly nice. Nice bridge across. Water's coming in from two different forks. You see my shadow on the ground. And that's pretty, I guess this is Beaver Brook. That's my guess anyway, because we were at the Beaver Brook Trailhead. I approve. We're gonna call this one the mountain stream of the day. Well, we're still passing along this little brook over here. We've got the waterfalls for a little while. Beautiful way to start out our hike today. All right, waterfall to start the day today. Very gorgeous. Wow, God's beauty is remarkable. Wow, what a uh, remarkable waterfall here. I think this is Beaver Brook Falls falls and uh, it certainly is gorgeous well here's a higher view of beaver brook falls as we continue going up mount musilaki <clears throat> truly a gorgeous day today well still following this fall it's gorgeous well we're about 25 minutes in and the pot tarts that I had for breakfast are absolutely gone. So we're stopping right here at the falls uh, to have some peanuts and M&Ms to get some calories going because I don't want to be going up this thing lightheaded. So we'll keep you posted as we go up the hill, but couldn't ask for much of a better uh, snack spot. I had to work hard to get in front of you guys to record uh -huh. you. <laughs> Here's another view of the falls rushing down from the top down or closer to the top down. Absolutely unbelievable. This is a hard, hard climb. Probably one of the hardest we've done but uh, the views are absolutely worth it. Hawkeye says there's a better view up here, so I'm gonna walk up and I'll show you in a minute. All right, more view. This is looking down into some of the pools where the waterfall is accumulating. Phenomenal. All right, so this is the kind of stuff we're dealing with today. Wow. Oh, there's a handrail up there. That's handy. No pun intended. This is really yeah, steep. Right yep, I see it. I missed the last one. Holy cow. Okay, I guess it's my turn. It's still going. Wow. This is the view looking back. We got waterfall to the left and mountains to the behind. Well, here's looking back. Beautiful forest. And here's looking down. We got a couple of hikers coming up. Aftermath's in front. I don't know who's behind. But, uh, she's plowing forward. We're proud of her. She's doing really well. We all thought we would be really slow today, but we've made a 1.1 miles in the first hour, which is better than expected. But we're taking a little bit of a side trail off to the uh, shelter. Here's the privy, contamination hazard. So yeah, we don't want to go there. 
but uh, we're gonna go sit down over here for just a minute, maybe refill some water bottles if there's water close, and uh, we'll continue our trek up to the top. Well, this is the Beaver Brook Shelter. It's, I don't know, maybe two thirds up the south side, or up the north side of Mount Musilaki. And we stopped in here to have some lunch and to refill our water. And we're getting ready to head our way back on up the trail here just in a bit to finish our summit. And then we've got a long, steep downhill after that. Well, we uh, are not at the top yet, but we're moving forward. This is the trail looking back. This is actually northbound, but we're going south today. Um, after the shelter, the trail gets a little bit less steep. Uh, it's been like this for a little while. And uh, I think we've kind of got a, just a general bounce along until we get to the summit. Things are starting to open up a little bit. I think the summit is open, or at least I think there's a view. So I'm excited to show you that. But uh, this trail is a little bit, le a little more manageable and a whole lot less steep and treacherous as was the trail coming up. Well, first time we've seen rocks leaking water like this or water dripping off the rocks. It's not leaking water. It's just running down. But I thought it was kind of pretty. Moss makes it uh, look really cool. There's a little ledge up here, all kinds of ledges with water dripping down. And uh, we're still kind of working our way towards the top of Mount Musilaki. Oh, there's a whole stream right there. That's better than my filter does. And even, even freshly back, uh, backwashed this morning, my filter didn't flow that fast. So that would be a good place to get water. And I would think this water would be such that it wouldn't need to be filtered because it's so high. I don't think there's any animals above it that would contaminate it. But here's our trail going forward. Not as steep, but still very rocky. And I think that's gonna be the way of it for a while. I don't think we're at the top yet, but we've come to this little open spot right here. You can sort of see out and around. I'll try to pan slowly up in front. So we've been kind of flat and cruisy for the last little bit, aside from stepping over some rocks. I think we're probably pretty close to the top. And I think that it opens up there, but I'm not certain. But I'll check in with you when we get there. Yeah, well, we're... Moving our way forward and closer. Gavin thinks that's the top. He says it's a mile away, the top is. So I don't know whether that's the top or not, but it may be something that we'll cross another day. Probably not, and maybe he's right. But the view's really opened up right here. Well, we're not to the top yet. Hawkeye made me look at my feet coming up this little path right here until I got to here. And now I'm allowed to look around. This is phenomenal. And we still have a little further up to go. So we'll see over the other side just in a bit. Uh, my, so here's the trail up marked by Karen's. This is my second attempt at this video. For some reason it came out fuzzy just a minute ago. I put the camera down. I saw something. I see something glinting off the distance up here. It is. Getting closer to the top. Instead of my day clash, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Let's do the summit. First, the Lots of folks out today. Some blazes. Beautiful day. 
gorgeous is that? Well, here comes Aftermath, making her way across to the summit up here. We're a little faster than she is today, but we've been kind of staying a lot together. This is uh, <clears throat> not the first mountain that we're going to have that will have Karens marking the way. The Karens are the big piles of rocks with the blazes on them. Um, you'll see one when I pan the camera over here just in a second. Whoops, I lost her. There she is. She's got a big smile on her face. She's pretty happy to be up here. And I just lost her again. I keep moving my camera because I'm turned halfway around in my spot. We are... Uh, kind of tucked into some rocks here that kind of provide some wind protection up here because it is awfully windy up here on the top. There's the oh, Karen. Waffle. Huh? What's that? Remember when Hawk told us to think about what you were um, thinking about right before you biff it? Yeah. I was thinking I was doing really good. Yeah. So I biffed it. Yeah. I know this is going to be really windy, but we're on our way down now. Trying to keep, uh, I think I'm filming through my earbud. Here's our pathway down. You can see the Karens. We're actually going south instead of north today. And, uh, things are blowing off. Some of the some of the haze is blowing away. We've got some views again. So I thought I would pause just for a second and show you that. And I'm sure some of these things are going to be the things that we're going to be on top of in the next boat. This is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely makes the climb worth it. Uh, I've mentioned my mental headspace here lately and the whole idea of having the permission sort of to only walk 10 miles a day or eight miles a day or whatever because of the terrain is very settling to me. I'm glad that I have that. Whatever speed we can make it, whatever distance we can make it, and get to Katahdin. So this is really cool. We're still working our way down this Lockie, and uh, we've got these little better than head high fir trees on either side lining our path, and a pretty decent path for the moment. But we're going to turn and go straight downhill shortly. We don't know whether it's going to be as steep going down as it was coming up, but it's going to be something. I don't know that we can. Oh, yeah, there's the summit right up there. That's where we came from right there. I don't know that we came across this ridge here. Maybe we did, but I don't remember this open part right there. But uh, at any rate, taking a good look around as best we can. It got socked in kind of quickly once we got up there, so I never had a chance to get Peak Finder out to look and see some of the other mountains that we'll be seeing in the next week or so. But uh, maybe we'll have another chance before we're done today to give a look to that. Well, I just paused on my way down from the summit. I'm coming down through this uh, piney forest with moss that's just as thick as can be. It's probably three or four inches deep. Some of this moss is up in here, but it's just absolutely a gorgeous little spot right here. I was just kind of waiting on uh, Hawkeye and Aftermath to catch up to me because we're getting ready to do some rocky stuff. And we started out our day trying to stay mostly together uh, so that we, you know, if one of us had a, an oopsie, the others would be there too. So I'm going to hold up and wait on them for a little bit and we'll go slowly down this thing and not rush it. Well, here they come down the hill. <clears throat> it has been an incredibly steep down, although maybe not as steep as what we came up. It's just different because here we've got all these rock boulders that we're working on. And before we had stairs, it was just that they were near vertical. So we're just trying to be really careful and not step on anything slick and uh, not twist an ankle or whatever. I fall, you'll have it on video. There you go. If I, yep, yep. Evidence for the medical professionals that they're doing well. Still coming down through the pine forest. 
And now we have a water feature added. This is beautiful. <clears throat> you can hear it running around and through and under the rocks. There's a little spot where it's coming out from underneath all these rocks here. <clears throat> Dipping down through the moss, creating nice little pools. It's a nice sunny day. And uh, just an absolutely gorgeous water feature here to end our day. Although we're not done yet. We've still got a little over two miles to go. Downhill still. We're only about halfway down the mountain. And it's been dicey at times, but uh, sometimes it's not as bad. So we'll hope for more of the latter. Here's another rushing stream down the mountain. I'm not sure where the trail goes. I think it goes straight ahead there. But this may coincide down here with the other one. I don't know. I mean, the trail may run together with this for a little bit. That remains to be seen, but we'll know just shortly. Right now, I think I'm still on the trail. Maybe. Uh, maybe they are. Hmm. I see a blaze on the tree right there, so maybe this is the trail. Uh, oh, I get it. Those two don't run together. This one that I just passed runs off right over here to the left behind that tree. So here's trail. Here's more creek. And it's not going to be on there for long. So that's kind of cool. Well, just a few feet further down, this one's gushing even harder. And uh, it's being diverted from the trail right over here. But beautiful, beautiful mountain stream here today. And here goes the trail. I'm about a mile from getting picked up and just came out of the woods. The last little bit of the trail, maybe the last mile or so, was actually a fairly nice walk. Um, we, uh, I'm hoping that this will dump me right at the road or very close or that at any rate, I think I'm done with rocks for today, but we're going to have rocks for the next little while. I suspect going through the white mountains and then into the wildcats into Maine. So anyway, we're going to keep on plowing down through. I wouldn't mind to duck back down in the trees because it's cooler there, but, uh, should be at the car very soon. Well, he's not with me. I'm toying with whether to wait, but uh, we've got this in the ground right now. 1,800 miles. That means we're less than 400 from Katahdin. And uh, we are truly blessed in so many ways to be here. First, you know, that we have the means and the opportunity. Uh, I'm blessed to have my son with me. Uh, we're, we have mostly been blessed with safety. Uh, this week it has been truly a blessing to have Beth up here uh, ferrying us around from trailhead to trailhead so that we can hike and not have to carry our full packs. But uh, anyway, thank you for joining us. We're blessed to have you as well uh, in this little creek beside of us, but that's beside the point. Um, we, we're just, you know, we appreciate you watching. Um, it's It's always a treat for me when I have service and I happen to look and you know I'm uploading videos and when I do that I can see how many people are watching the videos and it's not as many as there were but still way more than I ever expected would and we appreciate that and I hope that uh, the content that we're producing is continuing to be entertaining to you and to be informative to you uh, so many of you have reached out in the comments to uh, send us well wishes and prayers and for that we're very grateful as well so a giant thank you from day 163 as I cross this last final little creek, I think, before I get down to the car. And uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, here we go. We just stepped out of the uh, forest in the fields. Uh, there's a blaze here and to the left. I'm thinking that's a kick over, kick over blade of major proportion. So we're gonna walk down the road here for a little ways. And uh, then we cut back and find that little dirt road where Beth was parked yesterday to pick us up and uh, we'll see her when we get there. Well, good day from the end of day 163. Um, we had a really good hike today, although it was a really, 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 really steep up and then it was followed by a really, really, really steep down. Uh, but it was only eight miles or 8.2 or something like that. We got it done. We got some great views from the top of Kinsman, as you saw, and we appreciate you joining us today. So um, we are back at the hostel, not the hostel, but the Airbnb for our final night here. Uh, we've gone through all of our boxes and bags and stuff, and I've got about two pounds of stuff that, is, that I'm gonna send home that will 
hopefully help be uh, help me be a little bit lighter in the next few weeks going in, into the whites and into Maine. Uh, we're getting ready to head to the store to finish up a resupply. We're going to resupply for seven days. So our plan from here is to go out for a couple of days, come back to a hostel here in town, and then go out for another five days to get us into uh, Gorham. So anyway, that's probably more detail than you wanted to know, but we're going to get some food and hopefully chill here tonight, spend a little bit more time with each other, and um, we'll get up tomorrow and we'll be backpacking out tomorrow with all of our gear, and mom will be headed back south towards home tomorrow. So uh, say a little prayer for us for tonight and uh, for her to get, drive safely tomorrow. We'll talk to you in the morning, first thing.